today on BRS TV, we're talking wet dry filters. Hi, I'm RT, your host of BRS TV's 52 FAQ, and this week we're answering Evan Eversole's question Why do most reefers look down on putting wet dry and biomedia in their sump? It's just extra surface area, and you don't need to clean it very often. You have to keep a good filter sock in front of it. It's true that few new reef systems use wet dry filters or other types of biomedia filters in the tank, and generally speaking, the BRS team doesn't advise incorporating canister filters into new systems. I'd wager that most wet dry or canister filters out there still in use are largely because reefers already own the equipment and they want to get some value from them, which is totally fair. Today I'll share the top four reasons why I think the reefing community and the BRS team don't recommend these types of wet dry or canister filters on new reef tanks. The first one is many reefers believe they're nitrate factories. They absolutely do produce nitrate by breaking down ammonia, but so does every other biological filtration out there. So I don't think it's really fair to call wet dries and canister filters nitrate factories unless you're going to group everything else out there that breaks down ammonia into nitrate, a nitrate factory as well. That said, most reefers would like to use a biological filtration that's capable of that last reaction where bacteria turns nitrate into nitrogen gas, which is not going to happen inside a wet dry or on most canister biomedias. That last reaction is theorized to happen in anaerobic areas like deep within the rock as well as in some deeper sand beds. So while rock and sand are also nitrate factories of sorts, they're believed to also be capable of at least some of that last reaction where the nitrate transitions to nitrogen gas and bubbles out of the tank. So that brings up the second reason. Very few reefers use wet dries and biomedia filled canister filters. They're simply not needed and pretty expensive for what little they do. The live rock and sand is fully capable of supporting the biological filtration needs in most reef tanks. I haven't personally come across a tank where the livestock has outgrown the ability to support enough bacteria to properly cycle the tank. Now, you might think that the wet dry represents backup filtration or redundancy. However, that brings up the third reason why most reefers don't use them. It's believed that the bacteria actually prefers to populate this extremely well oxygenated area on the wet dry's biomedia, which is just fine until there's a power outage or pump failure, and that media dries up quickly and all the bacteria die. Both power outages and pump failures are inevitable and just a matter of when, not if. Even an outage of just a few hours can have a pretty significant impact on the population of bacteria in your biofilter. Submerged live rock just doesn't have that issue, so your tank's probably safer without this type of redundancy. The last component is simply maintaining it. It's just one more area and piece of equipment to keep clean, and even with filter pad or socks before it, they always seem to get filled with detritus. If I'm going to have to clean and maintain equipment, it just needs to have real value in the tank. There is one exception to all this, and that's the Marine Pier Biomedia, which by design keeps it submerged in most cases, but even when used in wet dries, the media stays wet for a very long time. Since the most common application is just a block or plate, it's super easy to keep clean, and a lot of reefers claim that they're seeing a reduction in nitrates after adding the Marine Pier to the tank. It may even be capable of supporting that transition from nitrate to nitrogen gas, and maybe, rather than a nitrate factory, could be called a nitrogen gas factory, which would be a very positive thing in a reef tank for sure. Well, that wraps up this week's 52 FAQ. Keep on asking those questions and give us a quick thumbs up if you like what we're sharing. If you want to learn more about bacterial filtration, check out week 26 of the 52 Weeks of Reefing series, How to Leverage Bacteria for a Cleaner Reef Tank. See you next week.